Welcome to You Ask For It, where you send us questions and we answer them either with our opinions or with straight facts, homeboy. Mm. Um, straight straight facts. facts, homie. Yeah. We do have a question. <laughs> well, that would be good <laughs> because this would be a really pointless <laughs> video it otherwise. Really would be. So. And because of every of the service that we did for You Ask For It a couple of weeks ago, yep. uh, we've got lots of questions, so it's good. It cool. Good. So it's good. We've got stuff that hasn't been answered. Here's here's one from someone. There was a lot of demon possession, demonic possession, it seems, in biblical times. Do you think it's as prevalent today and it's dismissed as mental illness or possibly mental illness was dismissed as de demon possession back then? Your thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Well, since you're back live, oh, can I? <laughs> I was waiting for permission. <laughs> no, the bit there to get I on. think that's a great question. I, I think uh, we don't think about it enough on some hands. In some cases, we think about it too much. But it's a great thing to understand. And absolutely, demon possession was very prevalent in the Bible. And I don't think it's went down. It's probably went up. I do think that uh, our culture uh, is more resistant to demon possession because we are in a culture now that is not spiritually minded. When Jesus walked the earth, everybody was spiritual. It was, there was, there was a, a worship to the moon, to the sun, to false <laughs> gods and make up gods because human beings in that time were very, very spiritual, spiritualistic about everything. Therefore, they were very open to, and I believe that uh, witchcraft and sorcery and all that stuff was actually active and working, and it's true stuff, you know, because people were open to it and believe. Our culture, we're not as open to it. There are other places around the world that demon possession is very prevalent and it's very active, just like it was in biblical times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, we pretty much boo-hoo that kind of stuff, um, and I think that resists demon possession in that way. However, at the same time, I think there are some people that are demon possessed and we do probably call it mental illness. We need to be very, very careful though that we don't think, cause I know some people go there, they think all mental illness is demon possession and there's no way, shape, form. That is absolutely impossible. Could there be from time to time? Yes. Uh, just on a side note, I think there's a great test for people to see if they, I think a lot of us are, are demon oppressed or demon, you know, um, just evil around us influencing us, but actually demon possession. I think there's a good way to test it. And that is to talk Hol about holy water. Je no, no. Okay. <laughs> to talk about Jesus Christ, just mm -hmm. to talk in conversation about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just say, I don't want to talk about that crap, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's not a good test. Here's a test. If you're talking about Jesus Christ and God's love through Jesus to us, and a person gets very agitated and angry and like they- Out they, of the ordinary. Out of the yeah, yeah. ordinary where they just are, I mean, that is, a, that is a great sign. Doesn't mean, again, for sure. But I have never, I've been around some demon possession stuff and it seems to me like every time that is a great test for that. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody was in church and they just don't even know why, just, I got to get out of here. I'm agitated. I, and they couldn't even tell you why. Well, why? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I just, that might be a sign of somebody who is demon possessed. Mm -hmm. So I think most mental illness, that wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is, that could happen. So uh, that's a simple answer i guess i made it more complicated but yes obviously demon possession is still happening we see it less because we live in a very scientific prove me unspiritual culture mm -hmm. hmm. all right what i think okay just watching you talk and like say that like the agitation the first thing that comes to my mind is i would think that that person was high like, I wouldn't think that they were demon possessed. Mm -hmm. So I think even like in our culture, like we have to be careful with that too. Mm -hmm. um, but I do believe in demonic possession and I do think that it is a real thing. But, mm -hmm. you know, will we ever experience that? Hopefully not. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, 
when you when you say agitated, I'm thinking levels. Like, are you talking like Karen level triggered or <laughs> like well beyond that even? Way, way beyond what, and again, it's not always, but mm-hmm. it is. it can be a good test because it'll be an agitation beyond what they normally experience and the person couldn't tell you why. Right. I just have to get out of here mm-hmm. or I just have to, you know, can be a, I don't know of any other test. Okay. myself if somebody really is yeah. and i and i see this. where where radine's coming from about mm-hmm. i would think they're on drugs uh, just mm-hmm. you've seen plenty of people that have been on drugs or even mm-hmm. like videos that you watch on on the internet but you see these crackheads just going way. completely off that person like, might show those characteristics even if you're not talking about jesus right. so yeah, you're yeah, talking right. about like a noticeable yes. switch from yeah. what yeah. would seem to be within the realms of normal to, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, almost immediately when we start talking about Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah, almost like a supernatural sort of a switch. demon cannot handle, I mean, literally, the name of Jesus, we're talking about Jesus, the name of Jesus, um, he is supreme authority over every evil spirit. And when, as a matter of fact, if you'll know, every time a, a demon was cast out in the Bible, It was in the name of Jesus that in the name of Jesus, when you're talking to somebody that's demon possessed, that demon must obey and Mm -hmm. submit. They don't have an option. Mm -hmm. That's how this name of Jesus is above everything. So Mm -hmm. when you're talking about Jesus Christ, not not Jesus from down south, but Jesus Christ, Mm -hmm. the Savior. Not the guy who served us burgers on Cancun. (laughs) Not not that guy. So uh, no, a demon must respond to that. A demon has to respond to that. A demon is not comfortable around that. So, Mm -hmm. uh, but, But for many of us, listen to this. I'm glad the question was asked because many of us don't believe demon possession happens. It definitely happens. Mm-hmm. How does it happen? You have to open yourself up and invite evil spirits and demons in you. I don't mm-hmm. think it can happen accidentally. Right. That's why being spiritually minded really lends itself to um, you know, spiritual... It can't fire. happen accidentally, and it can't happen to someone who's put their faith in Jesus Christ no, either. No, so no, Christians no, no. don't need to be afraid about, no. oh, I might might come over me. It is yeah. impossible for a evil spirit to enter the place, the dwelling where the Spirit of God is. It's impossible. I, th- I think uh, I, the, the way the question was worded was, hey, was is there demon possession still now, and how does it play into mental illness? I think in Bible times, some of it could have been mental illness. And I think some of it today that we call mental could be that, Mm -hmm. but I'm not sure about the possession piece. I mean, you kind of covered that already, but I think this might be like a a tangent or a side note to the question. I think there is a lot of demonic activity and influence. Mm -hmm. I think even more so today Mm -hmm. than we read about in the Bible times. And I think when you look at our culture, and how fast sin is being accepted and celebrated, there's no explanation other than evil influence in our world today. Well, and if and you so, look at like the horror industry and like the, all of that stuff, all of that stuff, it's, I mean, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's all, there's I mean, the, even just in conversation, in politics, in school, like the influx of anti-god evil celebration Mm -hmm. is at an all-time okay maybe not all-time high but higher than we've ever experienced in our lives for america at an Mm all-time high and that Mm -hmm. to to just dismiss that as like well that's just people are like no 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 that is the influence of the devil pure evil i Mm -hmm. i think there are i mean just my opinion I think there are politicians and lawmakers that are, I'm not sure I'd go as far as possession, Mm -hmm. but highly under the influence Influence. of the devil, Mm -hmm. pushing anti-God policies as hard as possible. Yep. You know, and so uh, the possession piece is just a weird word, but I would say we, I think we see just as much, if not more evil influence in our world today. Oh yeah. And it's, and it's pushed harder because we, they have the, the ability and the capability mm-hmm. to do it. Mm-hmm. Social media, media, 
I think you know? so many times we think of uh, demon activity as scary and all this horrible yeah. thing. Uh, back in Bible times and even before, well, not before Bible times, but before Jesus, that there's been all kinds of cults and false religions mm -hmm. that celebrated sin and they had orgies and they had things like that, part of worshiping a mm -hmm. false god. Mm -hmm. So this demon activity isn't always scary. Mm -hmm. Or a uh, matter of fact, you know, Satan comes as an angel of light kind of a thing. That's the idea that... Might seem good. That's why we can't see it in our culture because... There is no doubt that Satan is behind anything anti-God. There's no doubt about it. He is behind, you know, destroying uh, God, destroying the church. And he, but he, you know, if he was to show up with a with a knife and a switchblade and just say, "I'm going to destroy the church," people would react, say, "No." <laughs> but if he comes as an angel of light. And I'm going to, and I, I believe this. Masquerading we, in a new definition of love. I was just going to use that exact one. <laughs> Floating and getting us to believe a new definition of love. Mm -hmm. That is, he's behind it. He's going to use whatever works. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Right. Absolutely. And you, you're right. When you think of, oh, Kevin, you can take is that. Is that him? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> when, when you think of, oh, demon possession and evil, you think of uh, sacrifices and yeah. there's blood everywhere mm -hmm. and you know at goats and like all yeah. the weird stuff mm -hmm. if you're not for me you're against me mm -hmm. that's all it takes mm -hmm. that's yeah. really all it takes it doesn't have to be some big elaborate uh seance or anything so we, crazy we've like talked that. about this before of why we don't why i don't watch scary movies and why mm -hmm. you guys and i think the exorcist was the first one that came out you know 30 years ago or longer this whole idea of demon activity and, and since mm -hmm. then poltergeist and all that i mean it, so many movies have come out with this and the reason i don't watch this stuff is because i know scripturally and spiritually i know that this stuff is real Mm -hmm. and so to me it's not some people watch it it's entertaining i like to get scared because i know it's not real mm -hmm. well i know it is real it is absolutely right. real and that's why i would never watch it yeah. it's not entertaining and I, I mean. and I and i agree with you there my my wife also has that same theory the mm -hmm. scariest horror movies are the ones that are the real scary it's not mm -hmm. the freddy and jason right. and those like mm -hmm. yeah so don't want to watch those either well i, well, <laughs> I wouldn't we watch don't watch those movies. either but <laughs> but the scarier of the movies are the ones where that really could happen like oh yeah that's that's a the real event stuff. yeah yeah that's... i've read a story just like this in the bible mm -hmm. you know like some of these movies yeah mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, I hope we answered the question. I hope Kevin answered the question. Yeah. <laughs> Keep sending in questions. I know I mentioned we do have questions, but we always take more. And that was one of the newer ones we got. Yep. So feel free to text them to any of us. Talk to us on a Sunday. You can comment on this video. Uh, send us an email. Any way you'd like to get us the questions. And we'll... Uh, Take them as we get them. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>